Hello everyone, Jopke again and I'm making an index card uh, starting with the modeling paste by Amsterdam to create a bit of texture onto my card. Uh, it already has a layer of gesso so I can start and doing the stenciling. Uh, this is a stencil I got at Action. It came in a package of five. Very cheap of course because it came from Action. I think it's about one euro or something like that for five stencils and they are very cute very nice patterns um, not sure if they still have them though i bought these a couple of weeks ago maybe months ago i'm not sure uh, but uh, adding the, the modeling paste with this uh, palette knife and once that is dry i'm using some uh, sprays to start uh, getting some color onto the card uh, as I told you a couple of videos ago, I'm um, using my old agenda of 2016 to uh, keep my index cards in. Uh, it had the perfect size and um, thought that would be a nice project to start. So here we are. Um, I have four sprays here and that are uh, these are two acrylic sprays paints that I uh, made myself, the teal one and the uh, mint one. These are permanent once they are dry, so I'm adding them uh, with the, the nozzle of the bottle and, and the brush, uh, spraying some water to try and make it all run and, and drip. The other two sprays are uh, one by Lindy Stamp Gang. I believe it's the Café Olat. And the other one is the Vintage Photo by Distress Stain uh, Ranger, I believe, Tim Holtz. And those are um, water-soluble sprays. So I need to think of that when I add those colors because they will keep on reacting to everything wet you put on top of them. So, but still I'm um, uh, adding the acrylic sprays uh, right here and I wanted to have a bit more contrast on the floral bits of the stencil uh, of the modeling paste. So I added a bit more teal uh, there and I'm using the vintage photo, the distress uh, spray, uh, mainly on the edges to, well, I believe it's the vintage photo, I'm not sure really yeah I believe it's the vintage photo and I'm trying to keep that uh, around the edge to get a sort of a vintage kind of look really and then I'm drying it again with my uh, trusty hair dryer and splattering a bit as well and now I'm putting some um, bits and pieces on top of the card this is a piece of lace in in a kind of beige beige uh, color it had an adhesive p uh, uh, back, so it was easy to stick down. And this is a very old postcard um, I have in my stash for quite a while. And um, I decided to just tear it apart because I was not so fond of the image on top of it, really. So, But it had nice colors, vintage, vintage colors, so um, I... I I tear out a strip of the card and this well I ordered a new stapler I ordered one by Tim Holtz so hopefully it will arrive today or maybe tomorrow because this one this tiny one this I got at action and uh, it doesn't work all that well as you can see the staples get stuck in the machine and uh, they won't come out but, um, well, hopefully the one of Tim Holtz that I ordered uh, will be much, much better. And here I'm adding a few floral bits. These are paper flowers, tiny little paper flowers I got for my friend Janine uh, a little while ago. And I thought they look uh, very nice on this card. Um, I'm using the gel medium, the golden gel medium for that. Um, always do use that medium when I have to uh, glue down some 3D stuff or heavier stuff. Uh, the papers, paper flowers aren't that heavy, but 
uh, I learned that the golden gel medium is just perfect to use uh, for gluing down uh, things like that. This is a stamp by Finnabear, the messy stamp and an archival ink. I believe it's the coffee and I'm uh, stamping a bit and using the ink also to go around the edges. And um, this is uh, the word I'm using onto my card is uh, solitude. I no, it's not solitude. What is it? Solitude I use for another card. The little things it is and um, gluing it down uh, and uh, coloring the edges of the card. And then I'm going to uh, stick it down in my uh, little book, my agenda, just using a double sided tape for that and um, put, putting it down. Uh, I used the word solitude for another index card that I already made and I will upload uh, within a few days. So uh, just so you know. Um, yeah, that's about it for my index card this time. I hope you like it and hope uh, that you liked uh, watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day and see you again very soon. Bye bye.